Real estate is an imperfect industry. What does that have to do with this house? Everything. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. This is actually the Stone Cold 316th episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. I'm working for my man, John from Maryland. John is a police officer from Maryland. Thank you for your services, brother. As a matter of fact, John bought a three-pack from me, and uh, he bought it. Uh, during some of the, the height of some of the craziest things we've seen in 2020 with these ridiculous uh, riots and protests and blah, blah, blah. So what I went ahead and did is I doubled John's package because Holton Wise respects our police officers. So if there's any police officers out there watching this episode, go ahead and buy any MLS search and analysis product, let me know that you're a police officer and we will go ahead and double that package for you just like I did for my guy, John. John, real estate's imperfect, right? It's an imperfect business. And that's got a lot to do with this property. It's got a lot to do uh, with today's show. Uh, so let's, let's talk about all of it, okay? Now, the first thing you should notice right here, this property, if it was active, it would still say active. It's not active at the moment. It says contingent. Under contract, allow showings, awaiting inspections. Okay, Here is what we have. This is what leads me to the first way that real estate is imperfect, brother. You sent this to me. Okay, You were interested in this property. You're like, yo, man, I looked at this property. I saw it on Zillow. I ran my own numbers, but I want to confirm uh, with you. Uh, that my numbers are right, et cetera, et cetera. So the very first thing I want to do for you is, is give you the numbers, right? Because if you can have the opportunity to buy this, dude, you fucking should. This is a fucking banger of a deal, okay? The price, it's on there, 49000 You should definitely pick it up at list price, 49000 right? It has a three, it's a three one. It's got 1065 a month coming in, 12780 a year. Of that, I anticipate you spending five forty one uh, on average every month, or six thousand four hundred ninety two, right? So that leave you with an NOI of six thousand two hundred eighty eight. If you financed it, you know, at the fifty thousand dollar price point, I just rounded up for easy math there. Twelve thousand five hundred be your down payment. Thirty seven and a half would be your mortgage. It would be a thirty five point one percent cash on cash return. Would be a hell of a deal. And you've already looked at all these photos on Zillow, John. But I just, you know, quickly will cruise through them uh, here on the show just so everybody else can kind of see what we're talking about. The kitchen completely redone, and they did a pretty banging job there. The the pictures are a little goofy, but I mean that's a nice kitchen. It's already got this tenant in there. They're paying that thousand sixty five. I mean, this is, this is just a nice home. The the returns, the numbers speak for themselves, right? It's it's just a ridiculous deal, okay? Every everything about the property. I mean, we got newer mechanicals here. I mean, ev everything about this property is awesome. New electric panel, new hot water tank. The furnace is looking pretty good. Like it's legit, right? And Garfield Heights, that's a nice B class area, a nice blue collar neighborhood. Very, very nice, right? Everything's legit, right? But that goes back to stuff isn't perfect, okay? Zillow. This property itself has actually been unavailable since uh, it was like November, November twenty sixth. I I read, and today, as far as aware, is December seventh. Okay, you probably didn't know that looking at Zillow though, because Zillow is an imperfect business, guys. You should not be looking at Zillow uh, to see if properties are available. If you're doing that, you're either getting outdated data or inaccurate data. Guys, do not look at properties on Zillow, right? Freaking end of November, this thing is no longer available. Zillow probably is like, yo, for sale, for sale, right? If you guys want the real data, you guys want to get the data 
before everybody. You want your data to be more accurate than everybody. You need to go to HoltonWise.com. Right, right up top here, guys. Property search for sale tab. You go ahead and click that. Now, of course, you know that we got three things for you here, okay? There's the Investment Properties for Sale show. That's where I sell all the properties we are selling, right? I'm number one seller of real estate in Cleveland. Uh, investment real estate in Cleveland, this type of stuff, right? I don't do none of that, uh, you know, me, you, your wife, and your fucking three angry little kids driving around, and you guys talk to me about neighborhoods that you like, and we look at paint colors and shit. I don't do that stuff. I ain't involved in that business. But investment real estate, rental real estate, number one seller, right? Check out that show if you guys are interested. Then, of course, there's this show, the MLS Search Analysis. This is where we work together. Mono e mono to help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio. Which, by the way, folks, if you would like to do that like my dude John is, send an email to sales at holtonweiss.com. Include your phone number. We'll call you. We'll talk about it. But what I want to get to right here, guys, click here for MLS access, right? You guys need to click this, okay? What this is is I've broken down the MLS access, and I've given you guys my direct broker access. So you don't have to rely on that shitty data from Zillow that's either outdated or or inaccurate you will get real-time mls feeds if you want seller finance properties the moment one hits the market you will get that data at the same time every real estate agent or broker in my mls gets that data that's over 5,000 agents so the whole northeast ohio region and i broke things down i sorted it out for you guys right so i got the seller finance deals for you if you're interested in seller finance but you want single families you want multi-families etc flips i got stuff that's distressed inventory that would work for flips and then of course all our rentals and one of your questions to me john was I'm not that familiar with the neighborhood, right? You might not have been that familiar with the fact that Garfield Heights is a B-class neighborhood, and this is a freaking smoking deal, right, if you have the opportunity to take this, which you very may well do. More on that soon. But you wouldn't necessarily know up front without paying me to do a video that's a smoking neighborhood, smoking hot deal. Are you a lender? If so... Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Well, if you get these, you could, right? I broke down your single family homes based upon A class. Your multifamily homes based upon A class, right? Then we go to the commercial stuff and then we go down to the B class, right? So Based on what you want, I got it all for you. So if you're like John, you're like, dude, I want to get a B-class single family. Boom. Get that broker access, guys. Available to you all the time. It's a one-time purchase, right? They start at 10 bucks, okay? So for 10 bucks, and then uh, it's like 10 bucks are like uh, the renewals, actually. It's like 10 to 30 bucks, right? They're very low priced, guys. And that's not a monthly fee, not an annual fee. So long as you log into the system once every 30 days, that is a lifetime access to my system. If you lose your access, then you could renew it. You could get it started up again for 10 bucks, right? We got some folks that they're investing in real estate, then they don't do anything for six months, then they want to come back. So we got to go in and restart the whole thing for them. So we charge you 10 bucks, right? Time is money, y'all. Okay, so that's how you get that, right? So that's the first thing you could do, John, to get rid of the imperfectness with real estate investing, right? Zillow, it's imperfect. Get that fucker out of here, right? Now, the second thing that's imperfect, which is why this uh, sale may very well come back, okay? I'm bringing your attention right here into the notes, Buyer to assume any Garfield Heights City POS, POS to be ordered upon accepted contract. Selling as is, hurry. All right, this won't last. And here is where this is an imperfect sale, and this may have an opportunity to come back in the market. So if you haven't subscribed to that MLS Exus, you want to do so now. B-class single-family homes, because the moment... This comes back on the market. If that happens, you'll be notified. And you'll need to pounce on it, right? Because 49000 50000 that's a stupid price for this property if the POS is clear. The tenant already paying 1065 that's a banger of a deal. You're going to have a line of investors that want to buy it, right? But this is where the issue is. It's already been under contract for a couple weeks now, a few weeks, right? I hate when 
you get realtors that come into these POS neighborhoods that might not be familiar with it, or maybe the sellers are, are like bully sellers and you don't have an agent that is uh, secure enough in their business to tell their client no. Like, you know, look, I sell a lot of real estate, guys. I sold over $200 million with the real estate. And like, you know, when you go work in retail, you know, people talk about like the sellers, uh, the clients are always right, the customers are always right, blah, 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 blah. Look, man. I sold a lot of real estate. I sold a lot of real estate to and for a lot of dumb sons of bitches, okay? And I don't have a problem telling them, right? And, you know, if you do some Google searches on me, you'll see I got some bad reviews because of it. But I call it things like I see it, right? People don't watch my show because I'm, like, this super nice guy and just fucking making you guys all feel good about yourself. No, people watch my show because I give you the real and transparent information about this business. People do not work with Holton Wise because we give you the hugs and we give you the feels. No, that's not what Holton Wise is about. People work with Holton Wise because we are the motherfuckers in this neighborhood that know more about this industry than anybody else. We are the motherfuckers in this industry that have more signs in the streets, more trucks on the road. There ain't no motherfuckers out there in the Cleveland market with their names on more of these rental properties than Holton Wise. People come to us because we know what we're doing. We ain't going to jerk your ego. We ain't going to stroke your ego. We ain't going to jerk you off. We ain't going to give you the hugs. We are going to give you the real information, and we are going to tell it to you how it is. So if you were my seller, John, and you were like, hey, I'm selling this property as is, all right? Garfield Heights has a POS. I'm not dealing with the POS until I get a contract because I'm not wasting my time. I need to know I have a buyer. These agents that give out the hugs, they give out the feels. They're like, okay, no problem. You're the client. Every, everything is everything that you said makes sense. Me, I'd be like, no, motherfucker. That's fucking stupid. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. If we're not going to do it, this is what we're going to do, right? And the reason that doesn't make any sense, folks, first thing you need to do in the show notes, you need to click the link to the POS video, right? I explain what the POS process is. This, the story ain't going to make any sense to you if you don't know what the POS process is. Investing in the Cleveland market ain't going to make any sense to you unless you know what the POS process is. So check that out first. Going forward, I'm going to assume you guys know what the POS process is. Now that you know what the POS process is, you can see how this doesn't make any sense, right? So what this seller or this agent has done here, completely imperfect way to do this, They've got buyers to agree to purchase the property. And then they're saying, hey, you're also going to have to assume any of the POS violations. But of course, the buyer's probably represented by a buyer's agent. And I have never seen a buyer blindly agree to a POS. What almost ha always happens is the buyer's agent, if they're savvy, they say, no problem. Buyer will assume the point of sale inspection report. They'll assume any POS violations, but they make a contingent on the buyer's ability to review. So what the seller does is they bring a buyer to the table. Everybody's happy. 50K, heck yeah, we'll assume the POS, but of course we got to review the POS. So they've agreed to a deal, taking the property off the market with a huge unknown. The seller has no clue how much the POS is going to be. The buyer has no clue how much the POS is going to be. So they've agreed to a deal without all the cards in the deck. That's not coming for quite a while. And dealing with COVID, I'll tell you this right now, guys, all the cities, man, they're running slow. So this property, it's been off the market a few weeks. This property could very well be off the market for two, three months while everybody is waiting on this mysterious POS. They've all agreed to everything, wasted everybody's time, but they don't actually have a deal set yet because there's still this huge unknown of how much POS repairs are there going to be. Is the city going to want you to do 1,000, 5,000, 10,000? None of these people really know. So that's the most inefficient, imperfect way to sell this, right? If you know what you're doing, this is what I would tell my sellers. This is what I tell all my sellers, right? Whenever I sell properties on that Investment Properties for Sale show, I never present it to you guys without the POS. I present you guys the POS up front. I put all my cards on the, on the table. Here's the property. Here's the POS. Here's what you have to pay. And here's how much you have to pay to fix the POS. That's how it needs to be done. You can't be like, here's the property. There's going to be this POS, but we don't know what it is, but you have to agree now. And they're going to be like, well, I'll agree to assume it, assuming I get to review it and I'm happy with it. And then they go, oh, great. See, nobody has really come to a real concrete deal here. So because of all that, John, I think you need to focus on this property because whenever I see 
people trying to sell these POS properties like this, they almost always come back on the market because this is the wrong way to sell it. So that shows me either the seller's doing something wrong or the listing agent's doing something wrong. Somebody doesn't know what's going on. They're doing it the wrong way. And you get a lot of a lot of realtors. I'm not trying to bash this realtor or anything like that either, guys. You get a lot of realtors, like 99.9% .9 of all realtors, just so everyone's aware, their focus, their job, 99.9% .9 of them, what they do is they do that stuff where they sell homes to families. They drive you around. They make you feel good. They give you the feels. They find homes for you. What happens every once in a while, that realtor who maybe because and, and the majority of those deals that happen, guys, they happen in the nicer owner-occupied areas where the property prices are much higher than these rental property neighborhoods. And in almost all of those places, there is no such thing as a POS. That is primarily a rental property neighborhood, lower echelon, sub 100K market type thing, right? That doesn't happen when you're selling $250,000 homes. So when they get into these situations, like they've helped somebody sell their family home, they know them, and then maybe grandma dies, they end up with this like rental house that she had that nobody wants to, to, to continue managing, so they just want to dump it, so they call the realtor that sold them their personal home, like, hey, grandma passed away, she had this rental property, we don't want anything to do with it, you've helped my family multiple times, you know, get our nice houses with our white picket fences, so Fido could play fetch outside, blah, 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 will you sell it? The realtor's like, yeah, no problem, I'm a really good realtor, I sell houses, that's what I do, and then they enter this stuff, and then you enter dealing with the municipalities of these rental neighborhoods and they're used to dealing with like a lot of rough tough people who are always trying to skirt the system you got slumlords trying to mess the properties up don't want to fix anything so these cities they're creating these policies like this pos stuff to try to like wrestle everybody in and the whole thing's just a imperfect nightmare right and again that's the theme of the video right real estate's imperfect right so <laughs> with all that said that's where we're at so currently property under contract could very well be under contract for the next 30, 60, 90 days. Maybe it goes through. In my experiences, these types of situations usually don't. If that happens, you need to be one of the very first people to pop in another offer because if it falls out of contract, it's probably going to fall out of contract because they finally figured out how much the POS repairs actually are. At that point, all the cards will be on the table. And if you have to assume a POS of like... $10,000 or less, this is a home run deal, and we should put in an offer. Now, one other thing for you, John, seeing as this one is not available today and you're going to have to at the very least sit on this, I happen to know through working with you in the past, you also really like the Metro Health uh, area, right? The Clark Fulton neighborhood. This one's on the east side of town. That's on the west side of town. I know you love that area and I know you've dealt with Section 8 rentals in the past. So I'm about to film another video with a three unit Section 8 rental. I'm going to do that right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.